Okay, perfect. Well, hello everyone. Welcome to our weekly Sumo meeting. Uh, now we have Madalena joining. Hello, Madalena. We just hello. got started. Uh, yeah, I hope everyone's doing it's doing well. And uh, let's get started today. Um, I'm going to start with the previous action items. Um, Madalena and Michelle, um, you wanted to check if the feed was working. Um, do you have any updates on that? Yeah, I should add a note there. Uh, the feed was not working, uh, but there's a bug added for that. So you can check the bug there. Um, and then we will have e uh, feed for each product. Okay. Okay, so that seems to be that seems to be resolved. Thanks a lot. And uh, I think that was for last week, so we can move on right to the Sumo development updates. And since I see Ricky, we have, I think with the past, well, I wasn't there last week, but I might be worried there, Ricky. But do you want to take this? Uh, I'll, do, I'll do the exciting part, or I'll do half of it. Um, <laughs> so the, that, the issue that Malina and you just thought were talking about, the feed, that should be fixed today sometime. We just need to land it. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about is uh, one of the community tools features that are sort of the new pages that we that just landed today. So I was I wanted to share my screen just to show it off. Since it oh was, yeah, cool place. Go on. Uh, one second. Hopefully I share the right window. I don't see my. Uh, do you see Etherpad? I guess. Yep. Yes. 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 Okay, we're cool. seeing that. So this is the localization dashboard for Spanish. Um, it's the same as it was before, except it's missing a graph at the bottom. So we created a new page for just for metrics. And, and then this page has uh, the percent updated of all articles and of the top 20 articles. So you can um, keep track of them over time and see the history of the locale. We only have data back to July 24, which is when we started collecting it. So you can right. go back in history. Uh, but going forward, you'll be able to see how the locales are doing. Um, Spanish is uh, one of the strong locales there. And then the other new chart is uh, how many active contributors the locale has. Mm -hmm. So you can see That's that it's month, awesome. by, it's month by month. We just do like who was active that month. And then that the the actually the helpful votes chart, which was previously at the bottom of the dashboard, I moved it here so that you just have all your metrics together. That's uh, really that's really cool. cool. And then uh, I think most of you know about this already. The sort of the localization team page where you have the leads, the reviewers, the editors, and then the active contributors in the past ninety days. So you can see like who's active in each locale. And part of that bug is I added those links also to the KB dashboard. Um, so the locale metrics in English obviously doesn't have percent localization because by definition, it's always 100% localized, I guess, or whatever. It's the base for everything. But you get the active contributors for English and the help of votes moved here from this other page. And, and then the KB team. It's called, I don't know, I call it KB team because it's not a localization team, but I don't know. Uh, if you want me to change any wording of anything, that's... That's, that's super helpful, Ricky. And then, yeah, that's all I think. Oh, so I have data, like all this data for active contributors and maybe I shouldn't create more work for myself, but uh, and percent localization. I have all this data. I'm collecting it per product as well, but uh, there's not graphed anywhere. But um, there's ways to, to to get at it, to export it from using an API. Um, and I was thinking maybe we in the future we could add a drop down here so that you can just show per product. Um, but that's for the future. Just so you know, we have that data if you if you want if you're curious about like Firefox OS only or something. Yeah, but I know Michelle wants that. I know it. Do you anyway, th that's all I did. This is probably you're, the longest. You're reading update. my mind, Ricky. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Anyway, Ricky, I just. I, uh, I, I figured it was good to like show something off with like sharing my screen since we usually just don't. Um, I don't know. We usually just talk over it. I think this is one thing. Uh, but that's all I have. 
uh, probably my longest update ever. <laughs> Bye. Ricky, I just wanted to say thank you. Thanks. Thanks a lot. I think this is just, um, I'm, I'm particularly excited about this because I think that this is actually going to give a lot of local leaders and localizers a way to see, to track what's actually going on in their locale with a lot more um, of detail. Uh, and and I, I think this is this is really great. This is this is this is what it's gonna help us actually um, scale a lot more because everyone's gonna be able to look what's exactly happening and you know having historic data and everything. So uh, I just have to say thanks a lot and 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 for implementing it so fast. And it looks also very good. It's like every locale has now like a little KPI dashboard, right? Uh, so so I, I think in that 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 spirit, that's really cool. So. Thanks a lot. I'm just super, super excited. And, and I've, I've been showing at least the, the part with the active contributors to the, to the um, localizers and everyone's really, really happy about it. Yeah, I, I agree with everyone, everything that Rosanna is saying. I, I'm wondering, is there a, a formal plan for um, communicating this to all localizers or? Yes, 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 of course. Well, I, I, the thing is that we still have, we still didn't, I mean, we had, you know, we had things that were fixed, but right now that the dashboards are ready, now it's when I, when we're gonna start. Like I'm 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 gonna add it to a, like a blog post, and I'm gonna contact also a lot of people to let them know about this. Cool. Thanks, Ricky and team. You guys are awesome. Yeah, this is this is really cool. So thanks. The the yeah. only problem is that you're getting to the kind of level of awesomeness that you are. You might be become aware of the fact that you are awesome, and I I don't know how that's gonna affect you or your haircut, but, but that's just something to keep in mind. I'll have a, I'll have a new one for Paris, I, I promise. You, you're going to have a, a new haircut, Ricky? I can't wait to see what comes next. Awesome. <laughs> now you're setting the expectations really high, Ricky. So you'll see. Well, that's a good thing. He can handle that. <laughs> and Paris is very fancy, so you have to be aware. You cannot have just a haircut. Exactly. Or maybe you get a haircut there. How about that? Mm -hmm. yeah. Anyway, thanks. Thanks a lot, Ricky. I think that's awesome. And also, I, I, you, you did a lot of things very quickly. And uh, I'm, I'm really happy that you, that you already are collecting the data in a way that's going to give us the, the possibility or the option in the future to drill down by product. Because right now, of course, the mobile products, may, you know, they're not as used as Firefox uh, for desktop. But if it changes, I think it's going to be a huge um, value. Uh, you know, it's going to be a lot of value that we will get out of those metrics. So thanks. That's pretty cool. Thank you. Um, yeah. Well, one Michael, other thing yes. about that, um, I, I didn't start a discussion about this because I was going to be missing the platform meetings. But um, I, I mean, I had, I was thinking about, you know, we have these, like, we have rules about protecting the top articles. Um, and we were doing it by visits, and now that we have like numbers on the darn uh, top articles dashboard, you can like set a number so people can just go, oh, this many articles, right? Um, and we can switch products and stuff. And so I was, I was looking at what might make sense for not just desktop, but for um, Firefox for Android and Firefox OS, like 10 or 15 articles because they so far already seem to follow that same sort of like, you know, hockey stick curve where it's um, this small bunch of articles is most of the visits, then the whole next bunch is, you know, all the rest of the visits kind of thing. Um, right, so anyway, right. just an idea that we should probably uh, discuss in a platform meeting. I don't know what the uh, answer is, but but yes. certainly being able to switch the dashboard metrics by product would would be cool and part probably part of that. Yeah, yeah, totally. I I, I I agree with you, Michael. Also, because I think right now we're still like small teams, but you know if you know with the products with more products and more articles, we might need to recruit more people, and maybe some people are going to feel responsible for for a particular product, and and I think that yeah. in that case, it makes total sense. So. Um, I think it's great that we have, can have that discussion at the platform meeting. That's very good. Cool. No, I'm, that, that's really a very exciting news. Um, anyways, uh, uh, Ricky, are you ready? Uh, is there anything you left? Kadir, is there anything you want to add to the development status? Just a little bit. Um, so we have the localization. So one of the first projects that we finally that we finished 
uh, is uh, improvements to, to the search. And uh, now that it's finally landed, I'm looking at uh, formal ways of testing this. One of our success criteria is the CTR. So I'm looking into that. But we also want to do some informal testing. And I talked about this like two weeks ago, I think. Uh, so now we have the, uh, I also have the list of features that we did get to. And I'll, I'll be sending out um, a number of search terms that uh, would be great if you could test this. Uh, so this is mostly to the team. Uh, if you could test that and just give feedback on informal feedback on uh, the kind of results that you got. Uh, so this is next to the um, formal feedback, uh, formal uh, evaluation that we are doing for search. That's very exciting. Uh, finally, our uh, localized search is on par with the English search, which makes sense because it takes up 50% um, of our of our searches actually non-English search. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention is persona. So we are making some progress there, but there are still a lot of open questions, and we are still talking about them. So I link to the document that has our questions, and if you have any questions about persona, uh, please add them to the Etherpad, and we'll get to them. Um, that's, that's the update for our roadmap items. And I have one meeting, but you know what? I'll talk about that during the metrics update. Uh, that's it for, for some of the development. Okay, that sounds really, I, I think that's, that's also uh, very, very excited. Very exciting to have a, you know, very good search. Uh, I think that's where a lot of, of the magic happens. You know, we write all these things and, and in order to make them, you know, findable, uh, the, that's very cool. So thanks, thanks, Kadir. Um, anyone, any questions or should we move to Firefox desktop? And I think the today is Tyler's day, right? Well, well let me talk about UX oh, first, uh, and then we can move oh, on. Oh, yeah. But sorry, it's sorry. A very I, quick I, update. I jumped over UX. Please go on. That's a very quick update. So yeah, work is uh, resumed on the product landing page. There is a mock-up from Bram, and I'll be presenting some data regarding the product landing page soon. Uh, so if you're interested in any of that, please uh, CC yourself to the back, and you'll be uh, updated with the latest information. Um, the other thing is that we are still discussing uh, the requirements for the advanced search. And so far, we only have feedback from uh, Corel. But I'm pretty sure he's not the only one who is interested in this. Um, so it would be great if you could uh, comment in the, uh, in the forum thread that I've linked here about what you need from uh, advanced search. And if you could tell other people who you know are uh, using advanced search to comment in that forum thread, please. We need to know what the use cases are so that we can design an advanced search that works for those use cases, but also is easy to develop for developers. Uh, so that's what we are going here, going for here. And it will be great to have more participation in that thread. That's why I'm mentioning it here. Hopefully, more people are listening. <laughs> Okay, well, that, that sounds great. So anyone, you know, anyone who's interested, just, um, you know, participate in the group. And, uh, yeah, that sounds also very good. Sorry, sorry, Kadir, that I didn't want to uh, jump over it. Anyone, no any questions? Okay, so now, Tyler, after I teach you once, now it's your turn. <laughs> All right, so desktop, we're tracking a couple issues with Firefox 23. Um, we are currently throttled right now and we may be releasing a 2301 to catch at least one regression. Um, I believe it's in web audio. Um, we may throw other ones in there as well depending on um, what the feedback is and the risk for those fixes, but I'll have more updates for that later this week. Um, and then I'll just jump in Android as well. Um, the big issue that we're having is compatibility with Android 4.3. Um, some Nexus devices in Firefox 23 don't play quite nice together when 4.3 is on there. Um, we're working on that, and if any users are experiencing that issue, they can install Firefox beta, which should work a little bit better with um, 4.3. I was muted. Okay, that sounds, that sounds very good. So uh, anyone, any issues, please let us know. And uh, okay. It sounds that all in all things are, are pretty okay. So if you don't have any questions, let's move over to Firefox OS. Michelle or Hermina, uh, anyone of you want to take this? Yeah. 
Hello, do you hear me? Yes, we can hear okay. you. Okay, sorry, I'm having some problems with video and I'm just uh, turning on and off the camera. So, um, yes, uh, not lots of updates from me because last uh, last week together with Chen, we participated in the user experience research in Colombia. Uh, which was very insightful on what first-time users of uh, the Alcatel phone think about it and uh, and interacted with it. Uh, but more to come on this in the next couple of week, uh, weeks from the UX team. Um, and last Friday, I've also met with the support team in Telefonica in Colombia. And uh, it was a, a very interesting meeting because it was the first time I, I got to meet uh, to meet them, and uh, we had the chance to to sing, and uh, uh, we'll uh, we'll follow up this week on uh, on last week's meeting. That's all from uh, from me. Um, I just came back uh, on uh, on Sunday, so I will start in restarting my my usual work here, and I'll have more updates next week. Okay, perfect. That's that sounds like a like a lot of fun. I don't know if if, if Cheng, if you want to comment something on the on the. I mean, yes. I, I guess I'm trying to figure out what we can say. Um, right now, I think we're kind of waiting for the results to come in, the official results to come in from Silver, which is the company running the study. But yeah, it was very insightful. There's a lot of interesting things that you wouldn't expect, or that we wouldn't actually expect going on about how I guess uh, people use cell phones. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, so, to see actually... Okay. That that sounds that sounds good. And yeah, maybe if you if you get any any insights from the from the study, I think that um, that would be very interesting for for the rest of us uh, giving support. Sounds really like 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 it was a very good experience. So thanks for sharing. Yep. Um, anyone? Any questions? Any remarks on that? No, thanks for those updates. I also just wanted to thank um, contributors for answering questions. We're getting a lot of questions. Um, we had, I don't know, seven or eight questions on Mozilla Hispano uh, over the weekend, and a few questions on our English forum over the weekend. So, so thanks for keeping on top of those, and for the folks who did the canned responses last week, um, Andrew did a few. And I know for me, it's working on also. So. Okay. Well, yeah. Thanks, everyone. And yeah, it's it's isn't it exciting, Michelle, to have questions? Like now we're we're, we're getting we're starting to get more questions, and you know that's going to give us some pointers on what to write for the KD and everything. I think that's a resounding yes. Yes, question. I think so. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe she's she's muted. So uh, the next on our list would be Thunderbird, um, but Roland is on a road trip. Uh, so uh, if uh, unless anyone has any updates, I would assume that everything's fine in the Thunderbird uh, universe, uh, and we will get more updates next week when we when we get to see Roland. Ten yeah, the only problem with trip. Thunderbird is that I still have a lot of unread messages. Uh, oh yeah, uh, that's a bug. <laughs> file, file a bug, David. Yeah, I'll I'll save it for uh, Roland when he's back. I think he's better at handling that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I heard that's a, that's a huge bug and it's blocking everyone's, uh, you know, Monday. Yep, I think you're <laughs> absolutely right, Rosanna. <laughs> okay, so I hope you you get some, yeah, some help on that bug. And if anyone has any other questions, I think we'll move to metrics. Good year. All right. So the one big update that I have there, and I was already uh, talking about that last week, but now we finally have it, um, is that on the KPI dashboard. So let, first, let me say it's still flat. Uh, I think it's still summer, so maybe that's to be expected. But one very nice thing on the KPI dashboard now is that we only show the uh, complete time frames. So you will see this most pronounced when you switch to weekly view. You click to the KPI dashboard and then go to weekly. Now, finally, uh, they won't fall off at the end of the uh, time frame anymore because we're showing you only the full time frame. That's really neat. Um, That's nice. That's and you can now finally trust the data, so to say. They are exact, it's exactly doing what you would expect it to do. Um, that's yeah, that's, that's awesome. the update that I, that I have for the KPI dashboard itself. Uh, for the data, um, yeah, like I said, it's, it's mostly flat. Um, it, 
it might be seasonal. Yeah. Okay, so we can. It's the answer I, is probably file some... a bug, which yeah. I should do. But um, w one of the things that's always bothered me about it, but is now even now it's especially pronounced, is um, the weeks and the months don't begin at the beginning of a week or a month. They always begin in the middle, and it drives me crazy. And I would love to be able to see the data for July or for last week. And instead, I can see from the middle of July or the middle of last week, you know. Yeah, that's totally up to us. I mean, we, when, when I asked for this, I asked for like the last month, uh, which to me means the last 30 days. Um, that's what we had before, right? but I'm not quite sure. But just file a bug and we can add more time frames that make more sense. Okay. That sounds good. Anything else, Kadir? Otherwise, we can go to the knowledge base. No and big like, update. Just we need to start writing articles for Firefox 24. There's. Okay. I, is there a lot I to do? I don't like, anticipate that there is. Huge. There's a research thread, but I, um, because I was at training and traveling last week, I haven't looked at it yet. So that's on my list for this uh, early this week because we've got a week left to make the updates. Okay, I think there's a, um, there's a, is it you, David, writing the question right now? Or is it someone else? That would be me. Yes. Okay, so there it's, is. it's the link. It's in uh, all so the other Michael, etherpads. Michael, you usually post that to the, to the forum, right? To the KB forum. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, we'll post it, David. Thanks for, for the question. Cool. Um, anything else uh, on the KB, or should I move on to Elton and... Okay, I'm, I'm going to move on to Elton and I have fantastic news this week. Uh, yesterday, uh, we had our first Sumo Asian Regional Meeting, and it was like 19 people were there. It was amazing. We had people from, you know, from the Nepali community. Uh, we had a lot of people from India. We had the Indonesians. We had people from Taiwan. And it was, it was really, really, really interesting. Uh, I have to say right at the beginning, big, huge thanks to Ernest Chiang who organized everything. He ran the doodle and actually one of the first uh, dates was chosen. So it was pretty, you know, it, it all happened very fast. I think on Friday it was announced that, that, that the meeting was gonna take place on, on Sunday. But Swarnala and Ernest, you know, managed to get like really a lot, a lot of people to attend. Uh, and it was very interesting because we spent uh, a pretty much one and a half hours uh, on IRC. You can see the, the whole logs are posted on the Etherpad. So if you're interested in seeing the whole conversation, you can follow it. Um, Ernest was incredibly helpful uh, with the with the meeting. He really he went through every look at community. Everyone introduced themselves. Then we talked about the state of each locale, and you know people were telling us what problems they have what they were lacking. Um, so it was it was definitely a very interesting conversation. We took a lot of notes and we have some action items. I think that there's a lot of interest around events. There's also a lot of uh, questions around community motivation. And ultimately what we wanna do is we wanna try to start finding people who feel responsible for certain aspects of Sumo uh, in Asia because it's very hard for us from here to uh, be responsible for everything. Um, so that's how what we what we want to do. Everyone was very active. Uh, there's, as I said, a lot of interest. So so it was it was an amazing. It was a, a very good meeting. I personally I, I I I couldn't believe that so many people could show up on a Sunday, on such a short notice. Uh, I wasn't even sure I could make it myself. But it was just it was it was an, uh, a very very good meeting. Ernest was very good time framing everything, and you know everyone got a, 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 a some time to talk about things. Um, so really, amazing meeting. Uh, a lot of a lot of feedback, a lot of insights in the Asian community. Uh, you know, very very vibrant community. And we decided to do. Uh, I think that we're going to move on to bi-monthly uh, meetings because I think that a meeting a month feels like a lot. But the idea is to meet every every two months. Um, but we will try to meet once before the summit so we can prepare something together for the summit. So if you have any ideas. Um, for the summit uh, for you know a particular community just let us know uh, but just wanted to say that um, next time that we have the meeting um, it was announced in the forums I don't know if, uh, if, if you saw it there but if you have the chance to to come next time 
it's really uh, it's it's an amazing meeting. Otherwise, as I said, uh, uh, Ernest was also taking notes, so you can go through the Etherpad and just check the notes. Um, that's also very interesting. You're going to see a lot about the the each locale and, and seriously, uh, like it, it was it was, for me it was it was very overwhelming to see so many people. So so that was really cool. So that was my update for LPNN. And again, many many thanks to everyone participating in the Asian meeting especially Ernest for organizing and Swarnava for bringing everyone together. Thanks. You rock, guys. So that would be for the for Elton and, um, and I don't know, you have any questions? Uh, or I'm otherwise? super excited. Yeah, it was, I was, yeah. Yeah. it was really overwhelming, I have to say. I, I thought that maybe six people could show up on such short notice. It was like 19 people, so really, really amazing. Will and very organized for a 19 people the, meeting. Oh, sorry, will many of them be in Santa Clara for the summit? Yeah, I think many of them would be there. So, and that's that's also an exciting part uh, that we got to to talk to them. And I think that, of course, we couldn't cover so many things because you have to imagine it's 20 people and we all had a chance to talk, to introduce ourselves, to talk about the communities. Um, but I think that everyone's starting to talk, and I think that the most important part is that you know people start you know like meeting each other, making the connections, like you know creating this little tiny small plant in Asia that's going to grow. So so that that's the idea, and I think that a lot of people see it that way. And so it was a great start. So that, that that was that was very cool. Oh, just a little update. Um, next weekend um, there's going to be an um, sorry changing the the the. the um, the subject, there's going to be a uh, localization uh, uh, meetup in Scandinavia, in Copenhagen, and then in Sweden. David, I think you're going to attend that, right? In Stockholm. Uh, yeah, I'm going to attend the Moss Cafe, but that's, I think that the real yeah. summit is happening, it was not summit, sorry, the the meetup is happening in Copenhagen, like in you say, and I'm not, yeah, I'm not going to be no. able to make that, unfortunately. No, I'm, I, will, I, will, I will be in, in Copenhagen. Um, oh, you but will? If anyone... Awesome. Yes, yes, yes. I, 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 it was, it was organized and, and confirmed last minute last week um, that um, I will be able to attend. And um, I just wanted to say, if, you know, if you have, now we're talking about Asia oh, now. You know, the the focus is a little different, Scandinavia. But if anyone has any feedback or anything that you, um, you know, want to tell our localizers or any focus, just um, yeah, let me know. And um, yeah. I uh, just, just wanted to say that it's also very interesting for everyone, like for, for anyone actually, uh, to talk to contributors who are giving support. Um, because we, we have our contributors we talk to all the time, but sometimes you, you, you happen to talk to someone that's not maybe so active or so visible, and then you get also a lot of great insights. So just to encourage you. But um, yeah, so th that would be, I'm, I'm a little excited, <laughs> I know. <laughs> But uh, I think we should we can move forward to uh, can we move on to the to the support forum, uh, Madalina? Yeah, so we're having a new sumo day this week uh, on Thursday as usual. So please, everybody who uh, can and is online, please come along and help us try to answer all the incoming questions. We had quite a high number of questions last week due to the release, but we actually did pretty well. Uh, we had like, I don't know, there's a big spike there, 150 something in a day, uh, which is quite a lot. But we managed to to deal with them quite quite well. So. Great work. So yes, uh, that's basically it. A new small day this Thursday. Try to come along and answer a lot of questions. Um, I know it's holidays and it's hard and it's summer and everybody wants to go to the beach, but let's try to answer some questions first. Um, and yeah, keep the the high number there. So that's it. Thank you, Marlena. I was I was I was wondering. Um, so. Like usually, the 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 number of questions answered during a sumo day is, is always like a hundred percent, right? And then sometimes yeah. at the end, it turns out that it's not a hundred percent, right? So so so. Yeah, usually it's like up to a certain point, it's at a hundred percent, and then it's just like there are probably one or two questions left, um, and then there's nobody awake at that time to answer them, and then it drops. That's basically what happens. Okay, so okay, so I think I think that maybe 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 we can we can try to help there and try to maybe the the Californian our Californian you friends. could 
you can change the, have a chocolate the time frame and one last from, question before you go from to bed. like uh, yeah. instead of like this from seems so midnight forward. to midnight or something. I love that. You could do it from earlier in the evening the day before to earlier, you know, so that um, when it ends, it's still daytime. So in the morning, on, on that Thursday morning, when people start, there'll be a backlog log of questions, right? Because it'll be some from the previous evening. And then um, uh, there'll still be people awake and working on things at the end of the day to finish it up. move it six hours or something yeah i guess we could we can try a couple of things the biggest yeah the biggest issue is that i guess you guys know that the way we calculate the the hours is basically from the time the question was posted um so it's like 24 hours from then and it goes like this um so i'm not sure i mean of course we can try i'm not sure uh if it's just the matter of changing the um, you know the PST time that we're calculating or uh, doing something else so or basically just having more people answering I don't know um, it's hard it's, I think we need to do like some kind of analysis to see uh, on a certain day which are the questions that were not answered and when were they posted uh, maybe we can figure something out I would say we should have a reply rate uh, of 100% every day, uh, so I wouldn't yeah. necessarily change. Yeah, the, no, I was uh, talking about every day, not just like the sumo day. Right, so we, uh, maybe we can just leave the date as it is, and then if we only get 99%, well, that's pretty cool too. Yeah. And if you have 99% every day, that's even better. Yeah, well, let's concentrate now on the souls rate, actually. <laughs> I think that's more important than this stuff. Well, but it seems to be that that we can we can maybe have that leverage, and, and maybe maybe we can check. I don't know if the, if the to that number, Natalina. Like Sorry, have, can you repeat the question? I couldn't hear. Sorry, like if if we have questions in the localized forums, do you think that that affects that number? Because that could also be that you know that in English we're reaching a hundred percent, and maybe because of the other forums we cannot reach the hundred percent. Yeah, that can always be the case. This is why when we will have the, the the dashboards per forum, I mean for, per localized forums, then we can see exactly what's happening because right now the KPIs that we have are for everything. So mm. it, that includes English and other languages. Uh, well, right now it's only Brazilian Portuguese, but when we will have more, it will be the same. Um, Right now, I mean, Brazilian Portuguese is not big, so we don't have a lot of questions, but we still don't have the visibility on how does this, does that impact the general results. So theoretically, it shouldn't impact them at all. But if it's a matter of like a question or two, I don't know. So I'm actually looking forward to, to see this, this localized dashboard, to see like the results separately, and then, you know, we can have like a more, um, a better opinion because we are actually have the data right now we're just assuming things okay okay cool but, but okay but it seems to be that uh, so on Thursday that let's help get the the hundred percent yeah and maybe yeah maybe we get it cool cool maybe. so um yeah I don't know anyone any questions any ideas otherwise I think we can move to the contributors of the week Cheng is laughing <sighs> <laughs> Okay, you look happy, Cheng. You've been, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, so uh, contributors of the week, uh, Marlene, did you put uh, Joanna? You wanna? Yeah. So last week uh, we had a big discussion with Michelle about uh, Hungary because um, we need to start doing some localization of Firefox OS in Hungary, um, and we don't have a lot of people there so we need to start reaching out to people by the way if anybody knows any hungarian speakers that want to get involved please let me know 
uh, it's important that we do something with Firefox OS. Anyway, so I reached out to Iwana, who's um, actually a remaining contributor, and she has been instrumental in helping me find people who speak Hungarian, um, both from the Hungarian community and from other, other parts of the world. So she actually introduced me to a lot of people. So this is why I want to nominate her. Thank you, Iwana, for your efforts, because always your efforts are not just targeted around your region, but always everywhere. So everything Mozilla, uh, you are willing to help. Uh, thanks so much uh, for helping us do this. This is very important to get Firefox OS localized as soon as possible. So thanks. Way to go. And that's my nomination. Um, so I wanted to say before, like Ernest and Swarnava, thanks a lot for organizing the meeting. Uh, as I said, it was like very short notice and uh, but you know, you mobilize a lot of people to come. I really, I, I couldn't, I didn't even know if I was gonna make it, uh, and then I, I, I was very, very overwhelmed. So, thanks, thanks a lot. That that really rocked. Thank you. Rosanna, you're muted. I think, or something happened with your audio. So, so now, did you listen my last when I said about Ernest and Swarnova? Yeah, okay. So I was saying, Ralph, did you nominate someone? Was it Ralph? Or who was it? Who, who nominated? Uh... Yeah, I nominated uh, OS10. I'm not sure how to say it, uh, if I'm saying it right, but uh, yeah, OS10 uh, has done a whole bunch of new uh, contributions to the Portuguese Brazil. And I believe, I'm pretty sure he's from, uh, he's from Portugal, uh, but he's been doing an amazing job uh, helping out the, uh, the Brazilian community also. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, so uh, I think those are the contributors of the week. And now, thanks everyone uh, again for a great job. And uh, Unicorn Show and Tell, and it, there it says, Michelle, no pressure. So, Michelle, I think <laughs> this is you. Are you prepared for this, Michelle? I'm ready. <laughs> This is supposed to be Roland oh, started this. Surprise. Your face muted. Two weeks ago. I know. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> Build up. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was at Outside Lands this weekend, and so this is the headgear that I won. <laughs> and roll, everyone. Okay, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> How was Paul McCartney? That's 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 really cool. That's really really cool. <laughs> okay. Oh my God! So so amazing. Like, don't get me started on Paul McCartney. He played everything. I even wrote down in my Firefox OS phone in my notes app all the songs he played because it was so incredible. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what a showman! I mean, he just talked to us. He talked about you know, conversations he'd had with Jimi Hendrix. He talked about amazing things throughout the concert. It was, I cried, I laughed, it was great. Like, I, I don't think I've ever actually cried at a show, but Let It Be, wow. it really, it made me cry. He played Blackbird, he played Ellen yeah, Rigby. Dylan said it made her cry. Everything, <laughs> it was amazing. Who is Paul McCartney? Right. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Uh, he was that guy no, who was breaking the song with Michael Jackson. <laughs> I'm <You'll sorry>. remember. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. That's how I relate to him. That's true. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Say, say, say. That's an awesome song. <laughs> But isn't he the best bass player of the a band and bass players are? He's got to be the most famous. Bass never known, player. right? Yes, except for Flea, who I also saw this weekend. So <laughs> he's the other bass player in a band that you know. <laughs> How is Nine Inch Nails? Is Trent still got it? He still got it. Yeah. It was great. I, I we were so close. I couldn't really see anything. I couldn't really see him very much, but <laughs> <laughs> I was just getting tossed around, you know. 
<laughs> yeah, I think that that was a pretty good uh, uh, unicorn show until. I mean, the show was good, the tell was better. I have to. Tell. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyone, uh, any more, any more, um, any more questions? Who's the Anything unicorn you wanna, for you next say, week? Or is everyone ready to roll? <laughs> oh yes. Who hasn't done it? Who has headgear to share? A bunch of you. <laughs> How many people have have not done it so far? Raise your hand. I haven't done it. Right. Yeah, no one has. <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah. I've gone twice. Well, That's Shame what happens you. when you're cool. <laughs> 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 Just saying. So who who uh, who wants to do it? I can do it for next week. Perfect. Thanks, Ralph. <laughs> Cool, cool, cool. Okay, Ralph is uh, up for next week. Um, so we have a couple of, we had a, a lot of very cool updates this week, especially uh, Ricky, thanks for showing us the, the screen. Um, I yeah, think it's the to do would have been for Michael to post the, um, the link with the, uh, with the work that needs to be get done, but it's already done. So that, that's an action item that doesn't even have to be uh, written down. Uh, action item, let's make 100% next week on the Sumo Day. How about that? Let's, let's figure out. It. Let's figure out. Please, California friends. Where's, where's you know, like 11 p.m. Pacific time? Without, Where is know, that like in the daytime? The, the question. Maybe we can reach 100% there. Yeah. We'll answer questions at dinner. Yeah. Honolulu. Hawaii. We're all going to Hawaii. Yes. <laughs> yeah exactly sounds great uh, just a quick thing about the unicorn I, I just remembered uh, or I just realized that I'll be traveling to Colombia next week and I'll be leaving early <laughs> so I'll be able to attend the meeting and I'll be able to do the unicorn and why are you smiling <laughs> that part doesn't make sense <laughs> because somebody else is gonna have to that means you have to do your unicorn right now <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I see Cheng biting his nails, so I think it's Yeah, Cheng. I think Cheng is ready to say, I, I can do it. Yeah, and he was looking happy today. So, yeah, it's, mm -hmm. Cheng. it's Cheng time next week, no? Yeah, you have, yeah. Bad. You have to be chosen. Yeah, I'll do something with the house. We'll see. Oh, yeah, yeah, cool, cool, cool. That would be great. That would be great. Okay. Okay, perfect. Well, thanks everyone for coming today and uh, have a great start of the week and uh, we'll see you.